Hey there, smartphone fans. Welcome back to Smartphone Wars. This is me, Stephen Fox, owner and winner of the channel, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of, you guessed it, Phone Tech Talk, where I walk you through all the latest technologies in the smartphone world. So today I will be covering Xiaomi's latest flagship device that launched today. And uh, if you're not familiar with the device, it's the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 S. That's right, this is the third iteration of the Xiaomi Mi Mix series, uh, which was a big hit. The original Mi Mix was a concept phone that actually blew wide open the market and got everybody wild uh, uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast uh, and actually got Xiaomi recognized pretty much globally uh, with this phone. But uh, as well as the original Mi Mix was received, uh, Xiaomi folded up uh, six, seven months later with the Mi Mix 2, which was a Snapdragon 835 phone. And I have a hands-on unboxing and review on that. You should check that out, by the way. Uh, which was a really good phone, uh, but was uh, slightly higher priced. And, uh, well, to put it bluntly, it wasn't well received by Xiaomi fans. Uh, and uh, I was thinking that, that was it. We wouldn't see any more Mi Mix phones because uh, oh, Xiaomi practically learned their lesson. Uh, not only did they not learn their lesson, uh, but uh, they've actually applied a weird scheme to this one. So the Mi Mix 2S is, is, the, is a Mi Mix 3. I have absolutely no idea why Xiaomi did not name it the Mi Mix 3, which would have been natural and not confuse customers uh, because Mi Mix 2S seems like a slight bump over the original Mi Mix 2, uh, but I gotta tell you, it's definitely not. So Xiaomi are pulling all the stops in the Mi Mix 2S and I really want to create the best looking, uh, fastest and the best camera phone for the price. So here's everything you want to know about the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S. And naturally, of course, we will start with the device specifications. As the Mi Mix 2, this is a 5.99 inch 18 by 9 display phone, but it this time comes with nearly 90% screen to body ratio. So this is perhaps the best screen to body ratio phone that does not come with a notch. Uh, I think all of us were expecting Xiaomi to like copy Apple and uh, uh, put a notch in that phone, but they didn't. They kept the original design, which is Cool in one way, uh, but back in another because you still have the front camera all the way down to the bottom right, which is really awkward because every time you use the camera, you have to flip the phone naturally. And I really didn't like that with the Mimix 2. Um, the display is 18.9 Full HD Plus, it's an IPS panel, and all of you were hoping for an AMOLED or an OLED display, but um, the Mimix 2 had an IPS panel which was gorgeous, it was fantastic. And I really think this one will be a bit better, so you don't have to worry about the display quality. Next up, we have uh, Qualcomm's latest and uh, perhaps the fastest mobile chip in the industry today. I will probably get a lot of crap on that, but I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, the Snapdragon 845. Yeah, that's right, the new beast from Qualcomm is powering the Xiaomi Mix 2 as so. You absolutely have nothing to worry about uh, with daily driver performance, great battery life uh, is assumed with Qualcomm CPUs and of course great graphics performance. So this chip will run the latest games, it will run PUBG Mobile in ultra graphic settings on the highest resolution ultra frame rate without any, any issues at all. Now about the body and design of the Mimix 2 as uh, Xiaomi have stuck with the uh, ceramics design, but it has an aluminium alloy uh, on the edges. So it's pretty much uh, the same type of design, but this time it supports wireless charging. That's right, this is the first Xiaomi phone that actually supports wireless charging. Uh, it does also have NFC in there, so pretty good news for all of you out there who are hoping for these features. The phone will come, of course, naturally with the USB Type-C. A 3400 milliamp power battery should be enough for, for like two days of heavy usage with the Snapdragon 845 and it will not come with a headphone jack since uh, Xiaomi have never had a headphone jack in the Mi Mix series and uh, everybody's ditching that. And since I'm on the subject of audio, 
uh, Xiaomi have not disclosed that the Mi Mix 2S has a Hi-Fi Audio TAC inside because it doesn't even have to because there is no headphone jack so it uh, uh, relies solely on uh, Qualcomm's amazing aptX HD Bluetooth quality to deliver amazing sound via Bluetooth 5.0 which the Snapdragon 8.5 has now on to the later configuration which is RAM the lowest and smaller will be with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of onboard storage uh, and there will also be an 8 gigabyte RAM version and a 128 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte storage version the colors will be black and uh, white yes that's what is a white Mi Mix 2 as uh, coming as well and I have also from my colleagues from China benchmark scores of Mi Mix 2S and some photos and speaking about photos Xiaomi uh, have finally decided uh, to give up and really go for the camera department here the Mi Mix 2S has two rear cameras one uh, is a regular sensor and the other is a telephoto sensor which is uh, like with the iPhone 7 Plus uh, and with like a lot of phones so both cameras are not used at the same time when taking a photo to produce a better low light photo however the secondary camera can be used to get that amazing portrait mode uh, and both cameras are used to deliver lossless zoom I think the phone supports around 2 or 2.5 lossless zoom so this is something really really good but what's really important is that the main camera sensor is the Sony IMX363 with 1.4 micron size pixels and 4 axis optical image stabilization uh, and uh, I was really shocked that the Mi Mix 2 was announced, launched and at the same time uh, DxOMark which is uh, the popular benchmark for photography uh, launched their camera review on the Mi Mix 2S and the camera on the Mi Mix 2S has a 97 score in DxOMark which is really really high to put it in comparison uh, it's higher than the Google Pixel and just below the Google Pixel 2 and the one I made 10 so Xiaomi have really delivered here an amazing uh, rear camera experience for the users and be up to par with uh, phones in this price category and speaking about price uh, you guessed it if it's Xiaomi it's bound to be a bit cheaper and they have actually learned the lesson because the original Mi Mix 2 was uh, priced quite high around $700 when it was first introduced this time Xiaomi have done much better and the Mi Mix 2S is starting with 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of onboard storage is starting at $550 so the Mi Mix 2S is the cheapest Snapdragon 845 phone out there with what's going to be like pretty good cameras because uh, if you don't trust my camera judgment I think you probably trust the XO Mark's camera judgment because they're like really professionals uh, uh, but if you check my reviews out uh, and compare with what DxO Mark have, you'll probably see that uh, whenever I say the camera is really good, they practically rank it really, really well. So, yeah, not to brag, but I know my cameras. What the Mi Mix 2S for me does wrong? First of all, it's the name. Uh, I really think they should have gone with the Mi Mix 3 because it gives like a clear picture. Uh, to all the users out there this is a new version and this is a much upgraded version from the old one uh, while Mi Mix 2S kind of feels like uh, uh, they just added a camera model in there just uh, a slight upgrade and it's not really a slight it's a huge upgrade uh, uh, the display is better the build quality I'm sure is better the cameras are much better and it's much faster and perhaps the battery life will be even better than the original Mi Mix uh, 2 and the Mi Mix 1 definitely before that so, uh, who this phone is not for? Oh, it's not for me. I'm not gonna buy this phone because of that front camera all the way on the bottom right. Uh, I really hated uh, all those mixed type phones that came out because every time you had to flip the uh, phone to use the front camera, it was really, really annoying. And uh, you really can't put a great front camera all this way down because it is really just a tiny bit of space in there. Xiaomi have made a big splash in the camera department uh, also uh, they've used the word AI maybe like 200 times in that presentation all this talk about AI is really a marketing gimmick and you should not fall for it uh, uh, but it does help the camera uh, 
do a bit more it does help uh, the camera recognize the situation the light you're in if it's artificial lightning uh, if what the colors are represented uh, probably aren't what you're really seeing and it tries to fix that give you more natural color so it's uh, it's a bonus it makes the camera a tiny wee bit better as like all the Scottish will tell you a wee bit better uh, but it doesn't really do all that much so don't get too excited about uh, AI features of the camera although they advertise it as much as just a marketing gimmick so I'll wrap all this thing up Mimix 2S why should you be excited cheapest Snapdragon 845 phone perhaps really good battery life uh, you now have wireless charging uh, really good cameras 97 points in DX all mark uh, and it's a really fast phone, 340,000 mAh power battery should last you two days with heavy use with the Snapdragon 845. It's a beautiful phone, it probably offers the most uh, screen to body ratio ever on this type of display. Uh, but uh, I'll keep, if you didn't like the Mimix and the Mimix 2, I don't think this phone is actually for you. Uh, and especially if you're like an avid front camera user, flipping the phone every time will definitely be a bother. So this has been it for this uh, episode of Phone Tech Talk and me covering on the Mi Mix 2S. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for continuing to support me. And if you're a new guy and you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my honest hands-on reviews on the latest phones from China.